How to create an evil proxy phishing website media. K. Ijvala. A brief introduction to the article. Phishing is a type of cybercrime where attackers disguise themselves as trusted sources, such as email senders, in order to trick unsuspecting victims into revealing their personal information. Phishing is a particularly dangerous form of online fraud, as it can expose users to identity theft, financial theft, and other types of malicious attacks. In this blog post, we will show you how to create an evil proxy phishing website. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, you will be able to create a website that looks and feels like a trusted source, but is actually designed to steal your victim's personal information. This tutorial is easy to follow and will provide you with everything you need to create an effective phishing website. So if you're looking to learn how to create an evil proxy phishing website, be sure to read on. 1. What is phishing? Phishing is a type of cyber attack that involves sending an email that appears to be from a trusted source, but contains a malicious attachment. If a user opens the attachment, they will be infected with a virus. Phishing is a very popular attack because it's easy to do and it's a very effective way to steal sensitive information. Phishing is also used to attack companies and governments. To create an evil proxy phishing website, you will need the following. 1. A domain name that you can purchase. 2. A server that you can purchase or rent. 3. A computer with a web browser. 4. An email account. 5. A virus scanner. 6. An understanding of how to use the internet. 7. Access to the internet. 8. Money. 9. A sense of humor. 1. First, you will need to purchase a domain name. You can purchase a domain name online or you can find a domain name that is already registered and use that name. 2. Next, you will need to purchase a server. You can purchase a server online or you can find a server that is already registered and use that name. 3. Next, you will need to purchase a computer with a web browser. You can purchase a computer online or you can. Find a computer that is already registered and use that name. 4. Next, you will need to create an email account. You can create an email account using your personal email account or you can find an email account that is already registered and use that name. 5. Next, you will need to install a virus scanner. You can install a virus scanner on the computer that you purchased or you can install a virus scanner on the computer that you rented. 6. Next, you will need to understand how to use the internet. You will need to understand how to use the internet in order to create an evil proxy toe phishing website. 7. Finally, you will need to have money. You will need to have enough money to purchase a domain name, a server, a computer, an email account, a virus scanner, and understand how to use the internet. 8. Finally, you will need to have a sense of humor. You will need to have a sense of humor in. 2. What is an evil proxy? An evil proxy is a website that is used to fish users. A phishing website is a type of website that is used to steal user credentials, such as usernames and passwords. A phishing website is also known as a scam website, 419 scam, or online fraud. An evil proxy is a type of phishing website that is designed to look like a legitimate website. This means that the website's design, color scheme, and content are similar to the real website. 3. How to create an evil proxy phishing website In this blog post, we will show you how to create an evil proxy phishing website. This is a type of phishing attack where the victim is tricked into revealing personal information such as their login credentials or credit card numbers. There are a few different ways to create an evil proxy phishing website. The easiest way is to use a free phishing platform, such as phishingsim.com. 
However, this can be risky because the phishing platform is open to attack. The second way is to use a custom phishing platform. This is the safest way to create an evil proxy phishing website, but it can be more difficult to set up. The last way is to use a phishing kit. This is the most difficult way to create an evil proxy toe phishing website, but it is the most effective. For how to enable cross-domain requests in an evil proxy. An evil proxy is a web application that serves as a decoy website used to deceive users into revealing their passwords, credit card information, or other confidential information. To create an evil proxy, you first need to enable cross-domain requests in the evil proxy settings. This is done by entering the following in the evil proxy's configuration file. 1. Enable HTTP requests from the evil proxy to any other domain. 2. Enable HTTPS requests from the evil proxy to any other domain. Once cross-domain requests are enabled, you can begin creating your toe phishing website. To create a toe phishing website, you first need to create a landing page. This landing page will serve as the evil proxy's front page. To create the toe phishing website's user interface, you need to create a file called index.html. This file will be the toe phishing website's user interface. To create the toe phishing website's user interface, you need to create a file called user.js. This file will be the toe phishing website's user interface. To create the toe phishing website's user interface, you need to create a file called login.js. This file will be the toe phishing website's user interface. To create the toe phishing website's user interface, you need to create a file called signin.js. This file will be the toe phishing website's user interface. To create the toe phishing website's user interface, you need to create a file called settings.js. This file will be the toe phishing website's user interface. Once the user.js, login.js, signin.js, and settings.js files have been created, they can be placed in the same directory as the evil proxy's configuration file. 5. How to enable CORS in an evil proxy You may have heard of cross-origin resource sharing before. It's a mechanism that allows a website to request access to resources from another website. This can be used for a number of purposes, such as allowing a website to track clicks on ads from another website. In this tutorial, we'll be using an evil proxy phishing website to steal passwords and other account information. To start, we'll need to enable CORS in our evil proxy. To do this, we'll open the proxy's configuration file in a text editor. The first line of the file is the proxy's hostname. We'll replace evilproxy.local with the name of our evil proxy. Next, we'll add the following line to the file, allow origin. This line tells the proxy to allow all requests from the internet, which is what we want. Next, we'll add the following line to the file, cross origin. This line tells the proxy to allow cross-origin requests, which is also what we want. Finally, we'll add the following line to the file, headers, access control allow origin, access control allow credentials, true, access control max age, 3600. Access control allow methods, get, post, put, delete, patch. This line tells the proxy to allow all the HTTP methods we want. We only want to allow get, post, and put, so we've omitted the other two methods. Now we'll save the file and restart the evil proxy. When we restart the evil proxy, we'll be able to visit our evil proxy phishing website. We'll be able to see the password and other account information that we've stolen. 
6. How to connect an evil proxy to a phishing server. There are many ways to create an evil proxy phishing website. The simplest way is to use a free online service like. This is a website that will allow you to create a fake website that looks exactly like the real website you want to attack. Once you have the fake website created, you will need to connect it to your phishing server. To do this, you will need to find a server that can handle the traffic and has the correct security measures in place. You will also need to make sure that the server you are using is located in a country that you are allowed to attack. Once you have all of the pieces in place, it is time to start planning your attack. You will need to determine the target website, which will be the website that you want to steal user data from. You will also need to determine the type of attack that you want to use, which can be a phishing attack or a malware attack. Once you have all of the information that you need, it is time to start planning your attack. You will need to determine the target website, which will be the website that you want to steal user data from. You will also need to determine the type of attack that you want to use, which can be a phishing attack or a malware attack. Once you have all of the information that you need, it is time to start planning your attack. You will need to determine the target website, which will be the website that you want to steal user data from. You will also need to determine the type of attack that you want to use, which can be a phishing attack or a malware attack. 7. How to configure an evil proxy to send data to a phishing server. Creating an evil proxy phishing website is a great way to sneakily send data to a phishing server. This is a great way to steal personal information or even credit card numbers. There are many different ways to create an evil proxy. You can use a proxy server, a virtual private network, or a dedicated server. The best way to find the right evil proxy is to use a tool like the Hacking Team's Proxy Generator. This tool allows you to create a proxy in a few simple steps. Once you have your evil proxy created, you need to configure it to send data to the phishing server. You can do this by editing the proxy's configuration file or by using a proxy manager. In order to configure the proxy, you will need to know the IP address of the phishing server and the port that the phishing server is using. You can find this information by using a tool like Shodan. Once you have the IP address and the port, you can edit the proxy's configuration file to specify these details. 8. How to configure an evil proxy to receive data from a phishing server. Configuring an evil proxy is a very simple process and it can be done in just a few steps. First, you'll need to create a new virtual private network with a strong security key. You can then create an evil proxy on this VPN and configure it to receive data from a phishing server. Once you have created and configured your evil proxy, you'll need to configure your phishing server. This will involve setting up a fake website that will appear to be the legitimate website you are trying to attack. Once your phishing server is set up, you will then configure your evil proxy to connect to this fake website and steal the user's data. It's important to remember that this process is simple, but it can be used to steal the user's data and hijack their browser. So be sure to take all the necessary precautions to protect yourself and your users. 9. How to capture data from a user in an evil proxy. To create an evil proxy phishing website, you'll first need to gather some information about your target user. This can be done by intercepting the user's traffic with your evil proxy and collecting their login details, user ID, and other data. Once you have this information, you can start to create the phishing website. The phishing website will look and feel like the real website your target user is visiting. The only difference is that the phishing website will be logging the user's data and sending it to your evil proxy server. Once you have the data, you can use it to steal the user's identity, 
bank details, and other confidential information. 10. How to use an evil proxy to carry out a phishing attack. A phishing attack, also known as spear phishing, is a type of cyber attack in which attackers try to obtain personal information by sending emails that look like they are from trusted sources. An evil proxy is a type of malicious website that is used to carry out phishing attacks. It is a website that is set up to look like it is from a trusted source such as a company or institution, but is actually controlled by the attacker. Thank you for reading our blog post on how to create an evil proxy phishing website. To make this type of attack even more devastating, we also covered how to create a fake website that looks legitimate. This type of attack is very difficult to detect, and it's important that you know how to protect yourself and your business. We hope you enjoyed the article, and please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues. We would also love to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comment section below.